and look at the look at the onions we got these here last time two dollars for a whole basket of either one you want the red onions or, or the um, the regular onions here the yellow onions but but two dollars for a basket that's a deal look at the size of these guys this is how you shop and in these red peppers here look at this four four for a dollar four for a dollar for the for the red peppers holy smolies that's pretty good look at that four for a dollar tomatoes three dollars a bowl three dollars a bowl for these guys right here two for five so that's 250 each if you buy them holy cow now see limes here are five for a buck lemons lemons these are small lemons but they but they're five for a dollar here's some cabbage right here and these are some monster heads look at the size of these guys for two for two dollars six dollars for the big guys i tell you that's a that's a really good price they say you tap them and you can tell but they every time i tap them they sound the same but six dollars chicken and chicken and pork i had there how much how much are they each three dollars three dollars three dollars each Come yeah on now. they look really good don't they i'm i'm gonna grab two of them well this is a saturday morning yesterday i was at walmart and we're at the flea market here in st pete florida and uh, there's some really good prices on uh, vegetables and fruits here and uh, there's a whole look at this there's a whole truckload of coconuts right behind me here and um the guys are chopping them up and uh anyways we're gonna go in here and check some prices let's have some fun you can see the guy chopping them up right there already look at that and uh everybody's just just drinking out of them boy this guy's good at this look at all the coconuts here holy smolies and he's just chopping them up look at that here's some cabbage right here and these are some monster heads look at the size of these guys for two for two dollars two dollars for the size of this holy smolies and uh corn here i don't know why coats buy color corn two dollars for you get looks like five ears in here let's let's check out the tomatoes beefsteak tomatoes five dollars a bowl that's not too bad cucumbers two dollars a basket red different bell peppers four dollars a basket zucchini two dollars well these, these are the hot things avocados a dollar georgia peaches right here five dollars a basket kiwis two for five uh, i don't know but blueberries are four bucks plums four dollars tomatoes three dollars a bowl three dollars a bowl for these guys right here two for five so that's 250 each if you buy them holy cow now see limes here are five for a buck lemons lemons these are small lemons but they but they're five for a dollar let's check some of these sweet vidalia onions three dollars for for a bucket of these that's pretty good red onions three three dollars for these guys and what are these um honey bell oranges five dollars it still seems like oranges are high but uh and what are these yellow navel oranges five dollars and um two for five dollars for the uh cantaloupes here sweet honeydews three dollars that's a good price on that and let me see the small oh melons big melons ten dollars these are monsters <laughs> Florida sweet seedless five dollars for these guys look at that that does that look good holy smolies <laughs> oh and they have some plum tomatoes here I think are they, these look like plums right plum tomatoes, plum tomatoes. yeah four dollars that's not bad at all that's a good price holy these are some good prices three dollars for the are these serrano peppers or jalapenos I can't tell zucchini right and um, look at the lemons three dollars and they're monsters holy cow <laughs> that's good limes are four bucks and i forgot what they call these guys <laughs> i i know these are potatoes and how much see six dollars for the melons the watermelons here six dollars for the big guys i tell you that's a that's a really good price they say you tap them and you can tell but they every time i tap them they sound the same but six dollars now look at this a basket or a bunch a dollar each 
for just the little tiny cherry tomatoes. Now this is this is what I call a bargain here. How much were they at Walmart? This was four dollars, three dollars, and it's a dollar for that right there. Holy cow, that's a good price. And and these red peppers here, look at this four four for a dollar. Four for a dollar for the for the red peppers. Holy smolies. That's pretty good. Look at that. Four for a dollar. Four red peppers like this for a buck. Now that's a bargain. That's the deal. 20 cents. What's that? 20 cents. 25 cents. Yeah, tw yeah, 25 cents each. That's not bad. And this right here, four that's for a buck for these guys. Yeah, they're five. yeah, they're really good on a barbecue. Look at that. That's a deal. <laughs> these are deals right here. I like that. Oh, here's some here's some peppers. 15, 15 for a dollar. Try getting these at uh, at a supermarket for that price. You just you just can't do it. Two dollars for the for the cantaloupes. They don't look too bad either. Two dollars for the grapes. Ten jalapenos for a buck. Now the limes are pricey. Three for a buck. But uh, I don't know why. These are bigger cantaloupes here. Two for five. Oh my gosh. Holy smolies and 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 lemons. Three for a buck here. And these, well, what, what, are these cucumbers, what are they, zucchini? Zucchini. Oh, they're zucchini. Uh, oh, there's, and the cucumbers, $2. And, and $2 for a basket of the tomatoes. All good deals here. I know these are plum tomatoes, I know that. <laughs> and look at the, look at the onions. We got these here last time. $2 for a whole basket of either one you want, the red onions or, or the um, the regular onions here, the yellow onions, but but $2 for a basket, that's a deal. Look at the size of these guys. This is how you shop. This place has everything. I mean, you see the prices. I mean, this is the way to shop instead of going to the supermarkets here. And uh, half the stuff, I don't even know what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm glad my wife is with me. She's from the Philippines and she knows all this stuff. I, I have no idea. I can, I can guess the tomatoes and, and the limes and all the other stuff. But uh, she's better at that and uh, she's buying some string beans. I have no idea where she's at. But I see some fish right here and we're going to head right to it. Right over here they have fish. Fresh fish right here. Let's check this stuff out. Let's see what they have. And there you go, there's some tilapia right there. And what do we have in here? Oh my gosh! Holy smolies, look at these guys! These are bonita, I believe. Holy cow! Actually, I use them for bait when I cut them up. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Holy smolies, this is barracuda here. Holy cow! Holy smolies, look at these guys. Look at the teeth on these guys. Holy smoly. I, I think this is barracuda, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> Look at the size of the guy. But uh, what else do we have? Oh, the, look at all the shrimp. Look at the size of these guys here. They look fresh. And um, Jax, is that barracuda right there? Yes, sir. Oh, that's what I thought it was. Yes. Big teeth on the guys. And just jacks right here. My wife likes these. Holy smolies! What, what kind of what kind of fish are these? Sand perch. Sand perch. Okay. Well, different than the perch that I catch up in Michigan, but uh, <laughs> I don't know what the prices on any of this stuff are. But I really like the uh, those are the jacks, the shrimp right there. But I really like these barracuda. I, I really like the teeth on these guys. Look at the that's look a, at that. Three dollars a pound? No, I'm talking about the uh, jack. Oh, the jack. How much? That's a five dollar pound. A five dollar a pound. Oh my gosh! Woo look at those guys. Now I like this because they have they have the prices on everything here, and they tell you what it is. <laughs> White onions, which my wife really likes. These two dollars for a basket. The red potatoes. These are little uh, uh, baking potatoes. Sweet onions, two dollars for a basket. See, this is how you shop. I like that. Candy corn. White, yellow, and uh, it's not the type of candy corn, but these are these are big ears of corn here. Five for three dollars. So there you go with that. An eggplant, three dollars, and these look just beautiful. Oh my gosh! Two dollars for a basket of uh, cucumbers. I know I've seen them sixty-seven cents at Walmart. Zucchini here. This looks really good. Two dollars. A basket of these look like pickling cucumbers here. 
And for red peppers here, two for five dollars for a basket. Look at the size of this guy right there. Holy smolies. And look at that, two baskets for five dollars. And these are really good on the grill. And uh, I forgot what they call these, but they're hot peppers. A lot of people stuff them with cheese and um, I forgot the name of the chimichurris they make out of them. Jalapenos, three dollars a basket. Serrano peppers, three bucks for a basket. Plum tomatoes, three dollars. Even those limes, three for a dollar. These green onions here. Look at this. I like these bulbs for a dollar. A dollar for this. Holy smolies. Avocados are a dollar. That's about normal. Look at this. You have pinto beans, black beans, peanuts here, bananas. Now, see, I can't pronounce. Oh, Jamaican sweet fruit, three bucks. Papaya is four. Mangoes, a buck and a quarter each. Sweet navel oranges, five dollars for one of these. And the sweet pineapples. They're um, they're four bucks each, and the cantaloupes two for five. Holy cow! And how much are the seedless watermelons? They're they're six dollars each. And they're squeezing fresh sugar cane here for drinks. That's what they're doing. And what is it? Uh, sugar cane juice, large, six dollars, small, four, five, and six. There he goes with the sugar cane. And he squeezes it and see how it comes right out of there. Look at that. Holy smolies, that's got to be delicious. Oh, oh my gosh. And if you put some pineapple in there, oh wow. Look at that. Holy cow. And then he puts the, uh, the extras down here. Then they mix it into a drink. Always going to go for a second squeeze on it. Let's see how much more he gets out of it. Wow. Have you tried these before? I've never tried it. Would you like a sample? Sure, I surely would. <laughs> I'm gonna get a sample. Oh, look at this. He's he's gonna pour a little bit in there. Oh my gosh. Holy smolies. Let me try this. I got a free sample. I'm gonna try this here. Uh, uh, fresh squeezed uh, sugar cane. Oh man. How you like it? I love anything with sugar in it. <laughs> Oh, this is just delicious. I tell you, you can't beat it. Sugar cane juice right here. Holy smolies. Oh, that was delicious. Now we're coming up to the food court here, and this is where I had some of these uh, pork skewers. There's a lot of generators running here, so excuse the noise. They're everywhere, but uh, this is the stand where I got some food last time. It's really good looking. I'll show it to you. There's all the generators, you see them, they're everywhere around here to power everything. But here's the uh, stand that I came to last time and the guy's got this this pork on a, uh, a skewer here. Just just cooking away, look at that. Chicken and chicken and pork I had there. How much how much are they each? Three dollars there. Three dollars three dollars each. Yeah. They look really good, don't they? I'm, I'm gonna grab two of them. Oh man, they took he took a good one. I like that. <laughs> I like the burn marks on them, but that's really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna get two of these guys. What are you cooking up here? Uh, it's a Thai custard. Fried custard. Pie custard. Oh. Pie custard. Put pie custard. Oh, I see. I want to I want to watch the process. And so that's the finished product, right? Yeah. There you go. That's the finished product. Okay. Very interesting. She's just filling each one of these in their hot plates. I can feel the heat from here. And they're they're baking already. Now she's adding something else to it. I don't know what it is. What is it? It's topping coconut milk. Oh, coconut milk. Okay. What was the first ingredient? It's uh, flour. Oh, flour and water? Interesting. And what else do you put on it? You put all the rest of the bottles on it? It's the same thing. Oh, it's all the same. They're all the same. It looks, it looks like they're cooking away here. Oh, and she put the green onions in there and then going to cover them up. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's going to be good. 
and the finished product is they look just like that. How much are they? Five dollars. Five dollars. I'll tell I'll tell my wife about it. Oh, they look delicious. No, I just just give me one pork for now, and I'll wait for my wife. Oh, he's got one left in there. Yeah, warm in. Oh, very good. Here's ten bucks. Okay. Well, look at that. Oh, man, that looks really good. <laughs> My wife cooks this and her friend all the time. Yeah. So here's what I got, and uh, this is pork on a skewer, and it's just, I know it's delicious. My, my wife cooks this, and so does my friend all the time. Oh, I, I just love this stuff. <laughs> mm. Oh, man, I tell you. <laughs> Uh, just delicious three bucks each for these guys it's just you can taste the the crispiness and and the juiciness on it the pork very it's very tender no oh, excellent for three bucks oh this is this is just delicious oh my gosh <laughs> love it well I brought my own I brought my own salt with me here I like the coarse uh, kosher salt <laughs> with my pork and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. I just love this stuff. I just sprinkle it on like this. Oh man, I tell you, this is the way to go. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments, you're gonna increase your blood pressure, but no, I don't have high blood pressure. And this is delicious. Oh my gosh. Holy smoly. Mmm. This is, this is worth three bucks right here. Because you just can't prepare it. And I know that they marinate this overnight. Oh, this is really good. The little crispy. The little crispy ends on here. I really like that. And last time I came, I didn't have my camera. And I didn't even have the sea salt. So I came prepared today. Just like when I could over, go over to the Philippines and you get the street food. That's what this reminds me of. Just like this. Just delicious. I'd rather have street food like this than have processed food at Burger King or McDonald's or anything. Just delicious. Well, well the owner just came over of the, uh, <laughs> of the stand there and he gave me a chicken out of the house and I... I had to tell him, thank you, the wind's blowing everything away. And so I'm gonna try, this looks just delicious. This is the chicken right here. Oh my gosh. Mmm, mmm. Oh. oh my gosh. This is so juicy and tender, this chicken. Holy smolies. What a good deal for three bucks. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. it. Gives me a napkin too. I tell you, this is that's the friendliness of people when you come to a place like this. That they're they're really helpful, very friendly. They go out of your way, and uh, what a deal here for stuff like this. Because I mean, this really this fills you up. Just two of these guys. And I got to put some salt on this. I know I'm going to get comments. What are you doing? <laughs> but I love it. Just putting salt on here. Just I, I love the uh, kosher sea salt. Just like this. Come on, you put it on a pretzel, right? Let's try this again. Mm. Really juicy chicken. Mm. Tender with the barbecue sauce. Oh my gosh. Look, look at the uh, the burnt ends on here. The little burnt parts here. Oh, this is just delicious. Oh. And my wife is out shopping somewhere and I'm eating. <laughs> like I said, this is just like when I go to the Philippines and have the street food. And I love street food in the Philippines. Just fantastic. When I go there, I'm going to be putting out videos every day. Holy smolies, this is some good stuff. Well, I tell you what, I hope everybody enjoyed the show and, and walking around the flea market. Looking at all the prices, all, all, the, all the vegetables and all the fruits. A lot of I didn't know the names of. I should have had my wife narrate for me, but uh, I had a great time. I hope everybody enjoyed it, but this is how you have to shop if you want to save money instead of going to Publix or 
or Walmart, any of the expensive, uh, you know, uh, supermarkets, because you're going to pay full price for that. This is ridiculous. I mean, they're just ripping you off there. But here, this is a really good deal. So give me a thumbs up or like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.